we are going to reimagine the search engine, the web browser, and new chat experiences into something we think of as your co-pilot for the web. Hello and welcome to another video. About a week ago, Microsoft announced their new AI-powered search engine, Bing. They also explain how ads would be on the new Bing experience and how Bing had to update its webmaster guidelines to support the new chat experience. And they dug a little bit uh, more into the relevancy both that their new search engine, Bing, has thanks to the power of artificial intelligence. And so, after the announcement, over 1 million people joined the waitlist for the new AI-powered Bing search engine. That is really impressive. 1 million people. Yes, that is 1 million people joined the new Bing in 48 hours after the announcement to try this new Bing experience like everybody wanted to try the new Bing experience. Including myself, I also signed up for the waitlist. And even though it's been off to a rough, bumpy start for the new AI-powered Bing, there's still a lot of excitement about, you know, having a search engine powered by uh, artificial intelligence and having an alternative to Google, uh, basically. So personally, I believe that Microsoft will go back to the drawing board and fix some of the issues uh, that are being presented by the new Bing uh, experience currently. But that's a conversation for another day. What I wanted to touch on in this video is how to use the new Bing. And in case you haven't tried it yet, this is how to use the new Bing as explained by Microsoft itself. The presentation to demonstrate how to use the new Bing was carried out by Yusuf uh, Mehdi, a uh, corporate vice president on consumer marketing at Microsoft itself. So take a look. I wanna share with you four technical breakthroughs the team has achieved to make this come to life. First, through our fantastic partnership with Sam and the brilliant team at OpenAI, I'm excited to announce that Bing is running on a new, next generation large language model. One that is much more powerful than ChatGPT and one that is customized specifically for search. It's unlike anything you've had a chance to play with and we can't wait for you to try it. Second, we've developed a proprietary way of working with OpenAI that allows us to best leverage the power. We call this collection of capabilities and techniques the Prometheus model. The core idea here is that both at training and at runtime, we engage with the OpenAI model more intelligently through our knowledge of the web, via the Bing index and some special query techniques. We're gonna dig into this a little bit more later, but the benefits are the following. First, we can improve the relevancy of answers by feeding in and better tuning queries given our understanding of the web search index. Next, we can annotate the answers with specific web links and citations. We can get you more up-to-date information because search crawls the web every day, and we can improve understanding of geolocation. Finally, we can increase the safety of the answers as well by catching queries at initiation and then checking that again at the delivery of an answer. Next. We've been making steady improvements on the Bing algorithms for years, and we test these with independent judges, and, the, and it shows that our search experience is on par or better than any search experience when you take away the brands. But a few weeks ago, something special happened. We applied the AI model to our core search ranking engine, and we saw the largest jump in relevance in two decades. And we believe we can continue to drive breakthroughs as we improve the models. And then finally, we are reimagining how you interact with all of these capabilities across search, browser, and chat by pulling them into a unified experience. I want you to think about search coming together with answers, search coming together with chat, and search coming together with the browser. As we all know, and as the folks at OpenAI taught us, the user experience is as important as the underlying technical platform. All right. Enough talk. You guys ready to see it in action? Let's just show you how we're going to enable the co-pilot for the web. Now, before I do, I want to call out two things for clarity. First, because there's so much I'm going to show you, and so I, you don't have to watch me type every search. I recorded these searches live just yesterday. Second, 
in case there are skeptics in the room, you're gonna get a chance to play with it directly, put your hands on it and type the same queries as well as your own favorites right after this presentation. All right, you're all familiar with search, so I'm not gonna show you search. I wanna show you what you can't do today with today's search. I'm gonna focus on answers, chat, and the ability to create. But first, let me introduce you to the new Bing homepage. You're gonna notice some subtle but important changes. First, we have an expanded search box capable of accepting up to 1,000 characters because now Bing works with natural language. And you saw a little hint to chat, which I'm gonna get back to in a second. Now I wanna set up the first search scenario. My daughter and I, we both love art. She's studying art at school and I'd like to stay connected with her on our mutual passion. Last semester, she was learning about Mexican painters. I'd like to get a quick summary of the most influential Mexican painters and their works to learn a bit more about the topic. If I type the full query of what I'd like to know in today's search, here's what I'd get. And so I'll just type in, compare the most influential Mexican artists and their top paintings, and you'll get what you expect, right? Some links. It's fine, but we can do better. Let's try this now in the new Bing. What you'll see as we pull up is first you see the web results here on the left, but then on the right you start to see how we start to compile the answer. And what you get here now is we have the ability to highlight these web links. We can annotate the results. And that's because we're able to go in and apply our index onto the answers there. In other words, the answers and the search on one page has saved me a huge amount of time. This gives you a little bit of a sense of what you can do. Now you've seen some of this before. You might say, hey, I've seen some of this. Let's show you how we can do some additional things. I'm gonna show you another query. So where we use the timeliness of search. So let's go ahead and ask about events in Scottsdale during the Super Bowl. And what you'll see is we get back an answer here where we have events and we're able to do that because Bing crawls the web. Notice how we can find not only that the Super Bowl is played in Glendale on the 12th, but then the events like Cardi B's Super Bowl party that's on the 10th also shows up. So we we're able to pull these things together. So you get, start to get a sense of how we can build on what's today with the Bing index. Now I'm gonna show you a few more of these types of answers quickly so you can get a sense of the power and the time savings from Bing. When I'm uh, running an errand, like the example I gave to you earlier, I can ask Bing to determine if that new love seat from Ikea is gonna fit in the back of my Honda Odyssey. And what you'll see is Bing can actually find the dimensions of the love seat, the interior space of the car, and then make an estimation as to whether it will fit. In this case, I'm choosing an example of where Bing does not know the answer. And we know, uh, and we know that we can't be definitive about it. And the reason I'm doing that is because we know we won't be able to answer every question every time. But Bing can still provide some helpful information, as you can see on this answer. We also know we'll make our share of mistakes and as we begin to roll this out. So we've added a quick feedback button at the top of every search so that you can give us feedback and we can learn. Another example, when I'm shopping, I can ask Bing to search, find, and compare the top three selling pet vacuums list, listing the pros and cons. And just take a look. Look how great this answer is. It has all three of the products I'm looking for, super helpful pros and cons. Stop and think, if you had to compile that, how much time that would take you to do? And as you can see at the top of the page, we still have the advertising in this example because we know when people are shopping, those ads are helpful. And finally on this one, if I'm cooking and I realize I've forgotten a key ingredient, for in this case, for example, eggs for my cake recipe, Bing can not only find the, exact, the egg substitutes, it can get me the exact amount for each ingredient. And, and take a look at this, I love this. You can actually see, for example, if you go with vinegar and baking soda, the cake is lighter and more fluffy. These are just little helpful tips that every day help make your life a little better. These are just some examples. And you can start to get a sense of how with answers, we go far beyond what you can do with search day. We can actually help you get what you want to get done. Now let me tell you about how Bing goes further to help you with particularly complex questions for which there's not a precise answer. I wanted to introduce to you the new chat experience in Bing. I think of this as search with your own personal helper to help you refine your query until you get exactly what you're looking for. This comes in handy for activities like trip planning and shopping research. Let's start with shopping. So I'm gonna look for a 65 inch TV. Again, you see our ads at the top, the, result, the links on the left, and the answers here on the right. And you can pick whichever you'd like. We give you a good set of answers, 
But now I want to refine this query. So I can do that by going to chat. Now I can either swipe up with my fingers or look up here at the top of the screen. We have now a new chat scope. And with that, with one click, you are now into chat. Look how beautiful that is. Search to chat, just so seamless. And now we take away all of the content that was in your place and you focus you on your query. The search box you can't see, now that can take up to 2,000 characters. So you can really, you can just talk to it. You can just ask for it. So in this case, let's say, I'm gonna ask for a gaming optimized TV. All I have to say is, which of these are best for gaming? And we remember all of the context. We know that we're talking about flat screens. We know we're talking about 65 inch TVs. And look how Bing starts to come back. It does all the queries on my behalf and comes back with a great answer. And I just wanna highlight a few things for you. Since we know you're asking about gaming TVs, we pull out, oh, this one has a game optimizer, this has game mode, and so we make that really helpful. I'm on a budget. I'll ask you to adjust it for uh, which one of these is the cheapest. Again, Bing knows the context, and it just goes in and refires the queries. So easy, you just talk to it, and you can refine your shopping experience. And again, we find the prices here. I didn't know you could get a flat screen for under $500, but that's a good deal there on Bing if you're looking for a TV. All right, so we think that's gonna make shopping and shopping easier. Let's talk about travel. And before I jump in, I wanna kinda of just remind, have you remind yourself, when you're gonna plan a trip to a foreign country, think about all the things you go through. Travel times, what sites do I wanna see? Uh, regulations to observe, budget. Our research shows when on Bing, people spend on average weeks to even months to plan a trip and to use our organizational tools. I'm gonna to show you how we make that so much easier with the new Bing. I'm traveling to Mexico for my cousin's wedding. And with the new Bing, I now don't have to start with something that's dumbed down, like Mexico City travel tips. I can ask for what I want. First, let me just compare that against what you get in today's search engines. So I'll type in this long query of what I really want. And you know, you get what you expect. Links to go try and find, find the answer for yourself, right? But we can do much better. Let's try it in the new Bing. So I'll type the, I put in the long query, which is essentially create an itinerary for a five-day trip to Mexico City for me and my family. And just like that, Bing goes to work. And just take a look at how it starts to compile. It starts with day one, and we, we put in there, look, arrive in Mexico City, check into your hotel, go check out maybe the Playa de Artes, you know, have some lunch, then there's day two. And you see, isn't this just so much better as a starting point? And look, if you want to learn more, if you're like, hey, I don't love these five days, no problem. Down there, we have links where you can go and learn more.